Hello and welcome back to The Road to Good Cooking. It's summertime here in the desert and the living is easy. And speaking of easy, today I'm making a really easy recipe. Black beans and roasted chicken wraps as you see here. And tomorrow I'm going to make black beans and roasted chicken burritos for me and my neighbors. This is a great recipe your family will truly love. Making this recipe can be a family affair. Get the kids to help you with all the prep work. Make it fun and make them work for their food. <laughs> now let's get started. Here's my ingredients. I have a whole chicken which I got on sale today. I'm going to be using two whole onions which I'm going to dice up. I have my sour cream which I'm going to mix with some sriracha. Here are my wraps that I'm going to have for my lunch today. I'm going to be using corn tortillas and I'm going to make some chicken tacos for later on in the week. I have lettuce which I'm going to shred up real fine. Uh, green onions, a couple of bulbs of garlic. I have some Roma tomatoes here and avocados which I will be dicing up and some fresh cilantro which I'll be taking the leaves off of the stems and my uh, black beans which I'll be cooking according to the package instructions and um, here is my absolute favorite beer now you know when the cook is um, in the kitchen in that hot kitchen you have to stay hydrated so this is for medicinal purposes you understand <laughs> In this pot I've added six cups of cold water. I took one of the onions, rough chopped it, added that as well. Um, I put a, a couple of chunks of smoked ham hocks in my water. Now I'm not going to be adding any other seasoning because the smoked ham hocks will give me all the flavor that I need for my beans. I'm soaking my black beans in cold water for an hour or so. Here's a few pieces of broken beans that I removed. Discard these broken pieces. After an hour of soaking time, I will add my beans to the water that's simmering with the ham hocks. My ham hocks have been simmering for about an hour and you should smell my kitchen. It smells absolutely amazing. Anyway, I've added a few more cloves of garlic and I'm just going to let them simmer for about an hour or so. I've added my black beans to uh, the ham hocks and I've added a couple of more cloves of garlic. Now I'm going to reduce the heat down to low and let them cook low and slow uh, for about an hour or so. Now they should cook up fairly quickly because they have been soaking and the beans are, are nice and soft. Now I know you're probably wondering why should I go through all this trouble of making beans from scratch when I can buy them in a can. Well you can, but they taste so much better when you make them from scratch. I'm going to cover the pot with a lid and I'll let them cook low and slow for about an hour. Here's my all-purpose uh, taco seasoning. I posted my taco seasoning recipe in another video titled Pork Taquitos. I will post the link to that video in the description box below. I cut my chicken in half so it will cook faster. Then I rough chopped the second onion and placed it underneath my chicken. Then I liberally sprinkled some of my taco seasoning all over the chicken. Now make sure you sprinkle some of the seasoning underneath the skin as well. Here's the um, back of the chicken and the neck and a few other parts and I will uh, use that for chicken broth at a later date. I placed my chicken in a 450 degree oven for 30 minutes then I reduce the heat to 325. I'm going to continue cooking my chicken until it reaches the proper internal temperature of 175. Here's my finished chicken and it looks and smells absolutely wonderful. Look at all the juice um, from the chicken in the bottom of that pan and I mean it is just so flavorful. Now I'm going to let my chicken rest um, I guess for about 15-20 minutes or so and then I'll start pulling it apart. Now I, I couldn't resist this piece. I had to take a piece so I can taste it and as you can see it is so tender and juicy and I'm sorry that the camera is bouncing around all over the place I'm trying to hold it with one hand and and take some of the chicken off with the other hand and um, yeah it's not working too well but anyway um, it's really good you see how tender it is and I had to taste it in that juice and oh my word it is it tastes so good I'm going to be pulling this and uh, the onions that's underneath there, I'm going to incorporate that in my pulled chicken along with this juice and it's just going to be layers and layers and layers of flavor to this chicken. Can't wait to try it. Oh, Here's my pulled chicken done. Um, I added some uh, roasted peppers that I found in the refrigerator along with all those roasted onions that was underneath the chicken with the pan juices and I mixed that all together and it tastes absolutely fantastic. 
my beans are finally done. They cooked, I guess, about an hour, 20 minutes or so. I removed the smoked ham hocks and have them cooking just low and slow. Now, in order for you to um, test your beans to make sure that they're done, spoon a few of them on a plate, and, and if they smash easily with, the, with a fork like this, then they're done. If they don't, then let them cook a little bit longer. Now I'm going to put them in the food processor and get them all mushed up. <laughs> and get them ready for my wraps and my burritos. I whipped up all my beans. It took me a couple of batches uh, to do because I'm using my small food processor. I was too lazy to dig out my big one, so I'm using my little tiny guy. So uh, what I did is I transferred all the beans to a bowl and I tasted it and they taste absolutely amazing. You can taste the roasted onions and the roasted pepper and all that garlic I have in there and then you get that background flavor of that of those smoked ham hocks and these beans are absolutely awesome I'm telling you I uh, covered my bowl with plastic wrap and I'm gonna let it sit here and rest while I slice and dice and chop up all my other ingredients and then I'll be ready to make my wrap Okay, it is time to wrap. Now I took my wraps and I put them in the microwave, covered them with a wet paper towel just so they can get soft and pliable. Now I'm going to slather it with my sour cream and sriracha mix and um, a couple of great big spoonfuls of my black beans and look at they spread like butter. I kid you not, they're just, oh, they're so creamy and I cannot wait for this thing to be done. I'm going to put some of my uh, savory pulled chicken. Mm, a little bit more. Oh yeah. <laughs> now for my greens. Here's some chopped lettuce. Lots of cilantro. I love the flavor of cilantro. Some diced tomatoes. Lots of green onions. Heck, I don't have to kiss anybody tonight, so I'm just going to load up on the onions. <laughs> Dice avocado. I don't know what else I can put on this other than more avocados. Now, just turn it up on the edges, on the ends here, and just start wrapping. Uh, by turning it up on the end, end it just will keep everything from falling out of the bottom there. Just wrap it as tight as you can, and... There's my wrap. Whew. Doesn't get any better than this, baby. Too bad you don't live closer. I'd share it with you. Today I'm having lunch with the neighbors, a.k.a. the sisters. And this is how I put our black beans and roasted chicken burritos together. I took some of the black beans and some of the chicken mixture, put it in the same pan and warmed it through. I am warmed up all of our uh, tortilla shells. And here's all the ingredients I will be stuffing our burritos with. Did you grab that yes, too. Huh? Yeah, that's very good. That, that one's hot. Yeah, that's uh, both of them are hot sauce. Oh, yeah. This is this is regular um Oh good. Just regular <laughs> taco sauce. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh darn. Yeah. I'll have one of those limes. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Yeah. I, I made one for each one of us. Oh super. Here you grab it. Hey, let's let's toast. These are you. Let's toast. Let's toast the burritos. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay. okay. Cheers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. 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 Well, that's nice. Really nice. And you know, when I buy black beans, it's like I don't like that can. I don't like anything in a can. So I bought me a two a bag. bag of black beans and made them myself. It, it's not too hot, right? Oh, no. Okay. Well, it's hard to tell because I. I tasted this, oh, I tasted mm -hmm. that, so my mouth is burning anyway, so, <laughs> but I don't think it is. <laughs> this is a very tasty, what all Black this? beans, um, I roasted a chicken, one chicken which I've been eating up of all week long. Yeah, right. Very and I, I marinated the chicken tomatoes. in the same taco sauce, oh, so I have lettuce, tomatoes, green onions, black beans, and what else? 
Oh, we have the hot sauce on ours. You have the really good. <laughs> now you put this uh, hot sauce in there too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, uh, I tried to warm these up in the um, microwave with a paper towel on them. Uh -huh. They wouldn't do it. Because these are kind of you got to put them on a hot surface. Oh, oh. they're fresh made, so there's a lot of lard in there. So you got to loosen up that lard. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, when I got there, they were just putting them in the bag. So like, they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had some roasted chicken left over and you know I had to make me some more tacos. Check that recipe out tomorrow, making roasted chicken tacos. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.